Carlin. I'm really tempted to call her George because when she introduced herself, she's like, it's Carlin, like George. So uh, that being said, please give a big round of applause for George Shaw, everybody. Hi there. So bubbles make everything better. My journey began with Bubbles in 2010 when I was living in San Diego and I was taking a class with the book The Artist Way at a time in my life when I was lacking a little self-confidence and direction in my own creativity. So one week, my amazing teacher gave us the assignment to take a bottle of Bubbles into a place we've never been to before, surrounded by people, blow them, write down the response from the people around us, and write down our own response. So I decided to pick a coffee shop and excitedly threw the bubbles into my bag. Why did I pick a coffee shop? Because typically when you go to a coffee shop, everyone's just buried in their laptops and they're not really engaged with each other. So I found a table all to myself. I sat down and I went to pull the bubbles out and I realized there was this feeling in me. And what was it? It was resistance. But all of a sudden, I stepped through that resistance, I blew the bubbles, and I did it! And I didn't die. Because you know, it was kind of scary, right? Blowing bubbles inside of a coffee shop. But that's when the guy in front of me noticed that since the fan was on overhead, the bubbles actually blew back in my face. So he insisted that I turn around and maybe the fan wouldn't blow in my face. So I turned around, and I blew them, and the guy behind me now peeks up and he goes, oh my gosh, you're so cute, what are you doing? Now I immediately start writing down everyone's responses. And before I know it, I have these two guys engaged in a conversation. And now the other guy on the couch, he's curious what we're doing, and he comes to join us too. And before I know it, we're sharing stories about bubbles. In fact, the first guy, he, takes, he took bubbles with him to Costa Rica when he travels, and he hands them out to little kids. So all of a sudden, I was learning more about the power of bubbles. And I was super excited to go back to class and share with everyone my story and learn theirs. So you can imagine my surprise when there was someone in my class that couldn't find time to blow bubbles, and someone in my class that only blew them out the car window while in traffic. And this is when I learned it wasn't a fun exercise, it was a fear exercise. And as my amazing teacher explained, fear is fuck everything and run, or face everything and recover. Now, can you imagine if I had allowed that little bit of resistance to keep me from blowing the bubbles in that coffee shop? I never would have experienced the joy that I felt from bringing everyone together and this like confidence that I had in myself. I mean, I literally call bubbles bottles of confidence because I truly believe you're not just giving joy to others, but you're gifting yourself joy by blowing bubbles because you're attracting. And when it comes to, well, sorry. So one of my favorite ways to blow bubbles is taking them into a bar, let's say a biker bar. We're gonna blow them in a biker bar because we don't know how they're gonna react, but here's what happens. All the guys go like this. Because have you ever blown bubbles and someone's gotten mad? No, no one blows bubbles and gets mad. In fact, these bubbles right here are from my mom's wedding a few months ago. She ordered them because she knew they would make me happy. But most importantly, bubbles are bottles of joy and love. And that's what we're here to spread. Another way I like to blow bubbles is with dogs and cats and babies. Because guess what? Animals and kids, they don't reason with joy. They don't question whether or not someone's gonna judge them or reject them or think that they're being silly. They just follow their heart and they go with it. And truly, you never know where a bubble journey will take you. In fact, I'm super honored to have one of my dear friends in the audience supporting me, my friend Alexa. And I'll tell you, I wrote a blog post about bubbles four years ago, and it's from that story that we connected. So literally, bubbles can become stories that can transcend into friendship. So I kind of want to challenge all of you. I want to challenge you to have awareness. 
I want to challenge you to go buy some bubbles and take them out with you because guess what? It's actually impossible to frown while you blow them. Trust me, I've tried. They kind of just make a mess in your face. But I, I challenge you to go buy some bubbles, give them to your friends. If you find yourself feeling lonely or feeling uncomfortable or just wanting to add a little bit of joy to wherever you are, just pull them out. Thank you.